Hello, Wendy Wynth and I here. Come along with me for a tour behind this door of my Disney themed hobby room and office. Welcome to my office slash hobby room. Yes, this room, I'll do a quick pan around, is a considerably smaller than the loft I had before, and I'll insert a picture of that. My husband came up with this layout and he did a great job. I did not want my back to the door and I wanted plenty of room for my two fold out tables for when I'm puzzling, crafting, or sewing and he made that happen and then they fold up perfectly and go into the closet when I'm not using them. So I think it was just a great use of this small space. My loft was double if not a little bit more than double this size but I'm still excited to have my own little space and I need my office so we'll start on this side of the room we have Tinkerbell and she just adds that perfect touch of whimsy I also got Tinkerbell with a coffee cup for my kitchen and these were from Bears Create on Etsy and they are just so cute and then above Tinkerbell, we have our photo from in front of Cinderella Castle at Walt Disney World in March and our frame from Disney from a magical moment. And I just love it. I want to go back. Such a great photo. And then in here, oh, I don't know if we want to do this. We'll go ahead. Is my closet. I'll turn on this light. So unfortunately I had a lot more room in my other space, like my sewing machine was out, but it's in here. Oh, and look at there, mail and <laughs> circa 1955 candle boxes. I have yet to open. I'm so behind. There are my two fold out tables, uh, my tripod, ooh, magic mail. I'm waiting on one more thing and then I need to do a haul for that. Yes, has to do with Christmas in there. And then I have extra frames for puzzles and poster boards and my trash cans in here and my file cabinet. So my husband really did a great job helping me get all of this organized. Now I just got to finish organizing everything. Okay, we'll just keep going around the room. Right here is part of an old intercom system in this old 70s house that we can't get to work and I wish we could. <laughs> and here is my Lion King puzzle framed. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is Thomas Kincaid. All of the puzzles you're going to see hanging up are Thomas Kincaid if you haven't seen any of my previous videos. I'm obsessed. And here's my little table with my daisies and my candles. And yes, I have an old school radio because when I'm working, I do listen to music. It helps me stay productive. Well, at least in my opinion. And then here's my chair. And this, guys, this blanket was knitted by my mother-in-law 20 years ago for our wedding. It is a fabulous blanket. It's huge. It's queen size. It has stood the test of time. So there's my pineapple pillow. Then on the wall we have my Thomas Kincaid Peter Pan. And Ariel and Eric. And up top is Dumbo. Let me zoom in so you can see those better. Dumbo. Ariel and Eric. I'm sorry if there's any glare. It's quite bright this morning. And Peter Pan, Captain Hook. Oh, Wendy. I love, love, love the puzzles. Love the colors in them. They're so bright. And then next to my chair, I have this basket full of puzzles that also has Duffy and Shelly May on it. But it serves a dual purpose. It is actually 
hiding equipment back there. Let's just see what I have in here. Oh, Thomas Kincaid Aladdin's in there. And some Thomas Kincaid puzzles I won. And a Hallmark puzzle my kids got me and a stow and go to work on my huge puzzle. Alright, before I do a close up on Mickey and Minnie there in the window. These curtains are the original curtains that were here when we moved in and I decided to leave them because when I put my basket there, they are the perfect height, length, length. And I just ordered some tassels from Amazon that I'm going to try to tie to the bottom and hopefully that turns out cute. We'll see, of course I'll give you an update. And then here's Mickey and Minnie in the window. And I planted succulents in them. They're so cute. I did a haul in 2018 where I'd ordered some stuff anticipating our move to help make the rental more happy. And these turned out so great. This is what I did with the cups. I put succulents in them. And they turned out wonderful. Okay, we'll just keep going. This is my desk my doggy tape and stapler my las vegas coaster i want to go back there too all right my office chair from ikea my calendar with pluto and spaceship earth love 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 and here's my pin board not been buying pins guys I probably the next pin I buy is gonna be at Disneyland Paris we're going there in February and I'm so excited and then my husband hung me this floating shelf here because I needed a little bit more space for work stuff and then I have postcards I got at Walt Disney World so cute and then I have my notepad from Walt Disney World from the hotel room my sticky notes uh, the happy birthday button that my daughter wore when we were at Walt Disney World. And then my pins, my minis and my Mickey pins, and pencils, and they are inside my Animal Kingdom mug that I found thrifting. It looks, just looks so cute. I, at first I wasn't gonna use it for pen holder, but it just, it worked out perfectly. All right, so we'll just scan back this part of the room since I'm standing over here in this corner to give you a look from my desk view. Okay, moving on on this wall is Cinderella Castle. Trying to get the glare. I think the best way is from this side. My daughter gave me that puzzle as a gift. One of the best gifts ever. It's beautiful. And then my husband also hung a floating shelf over here. It's going to hold the Cinderella's carriage that I got at Walt Disney World. And this thing actually moves. This is so great. I think instead of a jigsaw puzzle, the next thing I'm gonna do is this because I'm so excited. And it's gonna sit right here perfectly under the castle which makes sense Cinderella castle Cinderella carriage and uh, perfect and the puzzle next to it is Ariel and Eric it's a beautiful puzzle too And then over here, the last wall are my shelves and my TV. And we'll just start in this corner because, oh look, more puzzles. <laughs> Pinocchio and I believe that's 101 Dalmatians stuck in there. Yes, it is. And up here we have, well, first thing is my antenna. <laughs> On any given day, this thing has to move around if I'm in here crafting or whatever. Uh, we do not have cable, so that thing's very finicky on what when it wants to pick up. But I do watch uh, Netflix and YouTube in here as well. And there's my Tiki Man cup from circa 1955. My lamp, my daisies back there. She holds a candle, and she's delightful when that's going on. There's our youngest, my bug, starting college this semester. 
next to her is our princess wearing her crown. And that's our oldest. There's Georgia May. She passed away in December and we miss her a lot. And then my grand fur piper. I babysit her quite a bit. And then down on this shelf, I have my Star Wars lunchbox. I also found thrifting. And that's Georgie's Yoda that I kept. And yes, I love minions, so they're in here too. That's Georgie's frog that my husband got her for Valentine's Day one year. Yes, she got Valentine's too when we did. That's my black and white Mickey and Minnie back there, and I love those guys. The next shelves are my scissors and glue sticks and pencils and markers. I put them on this shelf. Those are the scrapbooks I'm currently working on. And then the last shelf are extra envelopes and cards I have. My task lamp that I use when I'm puzzling. And a big old basket of crafting mess. <laughs> and we'll just start from the bottom over here. Puzzles! Could you ever even guess? I mean, there are a ton of them. I have so many puzzles. I need to get to puzzling them, but as you can see, just a ton, a ton. And then here are my photo boxes. Oh, and then more puzzles, more photo boxes, and my big map puzzle I need to do. And by the way, no offense to any other puzzle makers, but I think Robin's Burger has the best pieces on the market. And then in this shelf, I have ooh poofies. And they are just so cute, I think. I love these boobies. And there's our magic bands as well. And fun fact, my boobies, to give them height back there, are being propped up on puzzles. <laughs> Shocker. And empty circa 1955 candle tins as well. <laughs> Worked out perfect so I could give them some height and I could see all of them at once. And lastly is my ceramic yellow bird, my ceramic green flower, and my W, Wendy with an eye. And then we're back to the entry door. And then lastly, the last thing I'm going to show you is my beautiful ceiling fan up there with the lovely globes. But I need your help with something. On Amazon, I found a Cinderella chain pool. Should I get her? Because guys, my thing is I'm short and I can reach both of these just fine. And I'm scared. Well, I guess I could attach her higher. Let me know if you would get her because I just feel like we have the castle, gonna have the carriage, and I just need Cinderella dancing in the middle of the room. So drop me a comment if you would get her. I appreciate you coming along today to see my office slash hobby room. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. Be sweet.